What's Welcome up, back to the channel. channel. Thanks for uh, having me on the channel again. A yeah, plot cool. twist. I like I like having you. All right, all right, all right. We're gonna be discussing injuries and how we feel when we get injured. How it affects you what? mentally and physically. What to expect? Yeah. So recently, after the competition, if you haven't seen that video, it's the previous video. You should go watch it. I really like lifting heavy. I enjoy lifting heavy. And even after the competition, I was like, I'm not gonna stop. You know, why would I stop? I took a week off to rest. The next week following, racked up weight for squats. Racked up weight, as in 400 pounds I was squatting. First set went well, second set went well. Third set, not so great. I went all the way down, I have the video. I went all the way down and I just felt a weird pain around my crotch. Yeah, you heard me, around my crotch. With any sport, with any sport, there's gonna be injuries, okay? That's what makes it a sport. And there's, like, I feel like with, with sports, you should know how to train and you should know how to recover from injuries. Yeah. You should learn what to do when you get injured because it's gonna happen. Like I haven't I haven't talked to anyone who doesn't get injured in this sport, yeah. in any sport. It's kind of a, I don't wanna say necessary to get injured. No. But once you do get injured, you learn like yeah. your own strength. Like how long it takes to heal. Exactly. So you're better prepared for the next Know year. your body, basically. I want to talk about the mind. And like, when it comes to sports, when it comes to like athletics and athletes, it's people like, you really have to use the mind in your advantage. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad, you know? Like, if you feel the pain, a part of me wants me to go heavier, a part of me says, oh, like, don't stop lifting. But keep in mind, that can be your ego. So if that's the ego, put that shit on check. Put the ego on check and be like, okay, I feel some pain. If I go heavier, realistically, it's a body. Realistically, I'm going to feel more pain. Yeah, something's going to happen. So, like, the mind is good, you know? You can use it to go heavier, to go heavier, to go... To become stronger but once you feel pain somewhere and that that's with injuries once you feel pain you have to have that mentality to be like okay reality check i'm feeling it i'm gonna stop i'm gonna rest i'm gonna ice it you know and a lot of people don't do that and get more injured you know yeah that's just being done honestly i want to ask though like like what is the purpose of an injury? Okay, you already know what happens to the body. It rejuvenates, and you, after time, it's back. With your question of asking what's the purpose of an injury mentally, I'd say just, it's basically like a hit in your face. It's a reality check that at the end of the day, you love the sport, you love playing soccer, you love playing basketball, you love weightlifting, whatever you're doing. Whatever the case is, it's a body. It shows you're not invincible. It exactly like, and that's a big reality check. Yeah, it shows that you know, like, it's you're overusing the body, and like, eventually, it's gonna give up. It's like a car. Yeah. It runs on just take care on of it. gas. Yeah. You know, change the oil. Change the oil. Change. Yeah. Wash it. Rest it. It's 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 a lot. I feel like. Like, yeah, injuries, you have to, like, rest your foot, whatever, and, like, so it heals. But essentially, you're resting your mind, and you're you're healing your mind, too. Because you're, like, you're always in that process of thinking, oh, I want to go to the gym. Oh, I want to I want to play, I'm you know? There I want to run. But, like, it literally just, just stops you from that. It literally stops you. You're incapable of running. Right? Yeah. How do you feel? You feel like, yeah, bad. It's, it's a mental block. Yeah. Let alone a physical block. It's more of a mental thing. Yeah. Like, 100%. To wrap up this video, I just want to say, like, at the end of the day, 
it's a body bro like we're born with this body and I'm gonna tell you guys our bodies are not meant to be squatting 500 pounds to be running 10 miles a day they're not meant for that but we do push our limits mm -hmm. you know it's fun you see the results you get tough you build strength mentally and physically it's 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 freaking amazing but like you should know that like our bodies are not meant for this you know with with each sport you're putting pressure in in some areas for soccer it's your feet for yeah. basketball it's it's like every sport has its injuries bro and like once you know that you're unstoppable bro. thank you guys for watching this video okay leave a like leave a comment subscribe to my channel because we're gonna be posting every week yeah i'm gonna be posting every week you could learn something you yeah. could learn something about anything you know at the end of the day yeah i do vlogs i do fun stuff and like i try to incorporate everything to what i do with my life and i just want to like each video you can learn something from it hopefully yeah. like we put in the work you know you, yeah this stuff is worthwhile it's not and fake. i want to share it with you guys because yeah. because um i know it's very important for us and i'm sure there's people out there that want to see what athletes go through what power lifters go through you know so thank you guys for watching this video um stay tuned for next week's video and thank you sir for uh coming on the channel thanks for having me of course great to be back all right see you guys next time thank you.